What's up everyone, I'm Max Scott, and today I'm gonna to take you through my home garage gym setup. Hey everyone, on today's video, I'm gonna take you through my home garage gym setup. I'm gonna show you all the pieces of equipment that I purchased, why I bought them, and also who I think would benefit most from a setup just like this. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video as I'm signing up for an eight week challenge by one of my favorite YouTube fitness channels. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Let's get to the video. Okay, so the first piece of equipment, the staple to the home garage gym setup is gonna be the Rogue RML3 foldable rig. So I purchased this mostly because I wanted to save space in the gym because it's a one car garage and so space is a premium. I also selected the Rogue foldable uh, rig because Rogue makes very, very, very good equipment. Customer service is amazing and they use only the highest quality steel to build any of their rigs. And since this again is the most important piece, the focal piece of the garage gym, and it's the place that I'm gonna be putting most of the weight on, I wanted to be sure that I didn't skimp out on anything with this rig and go with the highest quality I could get. So the Rogue foldable rig is definitely it. I did some modifications to my rig um, to suit my needs. It doesn't come standard like this, but I added, don't tell Rogue, but I added the uh, extension kit that raises the uprights so that I could allow for the shrimp trawler, uh, to the rogue shrimp trawler to come out and hang out so I could have the rings set up. So this gave me the right height so that I can still do any ring work that I wanna do in the garage gym uh, while still having the clearances I need and have it away from the rig itself. So with doing that, I had to do a couple little modifications, just make a quick cut on the, on the uprights, the three foot extension kit. I had to cut a couple inches off of it, which is really easy with angle grinder. That's another video though. Um, so that's the rig itself. I actually don't use it as a folding rig. So if I could do it all over again, maybe I would just get one that bolted directly to the wall. It didn't fold. Cause again, I kind of use it to actually stow my assault bike as well as my bio box and some other pieces. So if I folded it in, I would kind of lose some of the storage space in here. So I treat this a little bit like the equipment garage as well, the rig itself. So as I take the Ferrari out of the garage, which is the assault bike, I move this out every day. So assault fitness, assault bike, home built plyo box. There are lots of these out there in available. You can even get ones that are uh, soft, they're made of uh, like softer material. So if you're afraid about busting up your shins, I built this one myself just because I, I wanted a home project to do and to give me an excuse to use some of my tools. So I built this one. So I'm gonna pull those pieces out every day when I get started. Uh, in here I have a foldable uh, bench and actually uh, I got this on Amazon. I'll see if I can attach the link in the description for you guys for this. But uh, the reason why I chose this uh, bench was because it would allow me to do decline, incline, and flat, and stowed flat um, against the wall as well. So I use a row uh, bench hanger here to hold it up tight up against the wall, because again, space is a premium, so I just try to pack as much as I could in into a really small space. Also on the wall here, um, I've got the Rogue uh, Matador. This is the dip extension piece. So what's cool about all the, all the road pieces of equipment is they attach into the rig however you want to use them. And they use these pins to lock themselves in place. So I can put these on. So I can put these on any part of the rig. So now I can do my dips. So I set up the dip, the the matador, but I wanted something that was removable for everything on the rig. 
so that if I wanted to change configurations or depending on the kind of work I was doing or if I had multiple people over here working out that I didn't just have things sticking out everywhere. Plus, this is the way we come in and out of our garage. So I needed things to be out of the way. So everything's gotta be removable and be easily stowed so that we can uh, mostly move mostly move the strollers and stuff. All right, so as you can see on the back wall here, uh, I've got my assortment of bands. I went a little crazy recently on bands uh, because a couple of mine had cracked over the years. And so then I went and just bought a bunch. I wanted to have at least two of almost every band. So I have really light resistance bands, uh, then mediums, and then to some thicker, heavier ones. So I use those for all sorts of different things. Uh, in my daily routine, sometimes for warm ups, sometimes for actual exercises themselves, sometimes just for stretching and mobility work. So I find the bands are extremely useful. I got my RPM weighted rope. So this is a weighted jump rope, as well as my regular RPM rope, which is unweighted. Things get tangled up because uh, both my son and daughter. Their favorite thing to do when they come to the gym is come in and pull on the jump ropes. They pull on the jump ropes, they kind of run around with them, they drag them behind them. Uh, so really these are there for them. That's what that's going on. Um, that's it for the back wall here. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot. The bamboo bar. The band bell bar. And the website's on here www.bandbell.com. This bar is a great training bar slash uh, exercise bar. You use it for all sorts of stability work. So it actually kind of, also known sometimes as the bamboo bar or the earthquake bar. Um, so it actually just allows for you to add weights. You can attach either with, with uh, bands um, or some people use chains and the bar bounces and shakes while you're doing the movements. You can use it for squats, for pressing movements, uh, for curls, and it creates uh, all this instability and requires you to use all your stabilizing muscles to complete the exercise. So uh, it's used a lot in rehab and prehab training uh, for injuries, but um, I find I work it into my training as much as possible because it allows me to use all the other smaller muscles and ligaments to help stabilize the big muscles. Uh, a couple other pieces in here. I've got my uh, weighted plate vests. So these are all 20 pound uh, vests. Uh, I keep my, my buddies here as well, my buddy Bryce. Shout out to Bryce um, for using my garage this year, garage. Um, Bryce is my the first member of the garage gym over here. So um, I've got a couple different ones here. I've got a bear complex one, which I really like. And then I have the 511 tactical uh, ones as well, the play carriers. Uh, I like the bear complex one because uh, the footprint of the whole rig is a little smaller. So, and I feel like it just, it's no nonsense. It's there just for weight training. The 511 tactical plate carrier is uh, like a mil spec uh, rig. So this actually can be used uh, even for sort of tactical things. You can change the plates out and you can put uh, armor plates in there or whatever. So this is actually like more of a military style rig that you just put weights in it and you can use it for weight training. Um, so multi multifunctional there. A um, couple other pieces, uh, recoil fitness. These things are awesome. If you do a lot of like ring work, ring dips, um, I can put this on my other shrimp trawler up here to do my muscle up. So what's cool about these is if, if you use rings at all, um, I like at your local gym or if you've used them in the past, getting them to the right height is a huge pain in the ass. So what's cool about these is I can actually look at the notches here and the measurements and make sure that I get them exactly at the right spot so that both sides are perfectly even and it's an easy way to adjust the straps. Otherwise, you used to have to kind of like loosen up the the buckles on the straps and then kind of adjust them and play with them and eyeball it. So it takes all the guesswork out of that and then to stow them away, same thing. It's just got a little quick release in the back and I can move them out of the way. So I love these, I, I use them a lot. Uh, and also Ace loves to use these as, for like a little jungle gym set up for him. So he, he gets a lot of work out of these as well. All right, moving on to the next section of the home gym setup. We've got the kettlebell dumbbell weight storage area. So 
This is the rest of the bulk of the material. Again, I'm working with a one car garage space, so um, everything has to be really tightly compact and stowed in its place for the whole thing to flow and function. So first couple key pieces here are gonna be my barbells. So I have a couple different choices of barbells. Um, I have two barbells from Rogue. Both of them are uh, the coated, Cerakoted bars. Um, one is their Olympic weightlifting, the Pyros bar. And I use that one for Olympic lifts. So for snatches and clean work, um, it's specifically designed for the Olympic lifts. This bar is the other bar from Rogue. And I use this more as like my general uh, everyday bar. It's just the Ohio bar and I have it coated in black. I have rocket launchers down here for the actual holders. So I have two rocket launchers here. And then I also used on the rig, Rogue has a pretty cool setup, uh, barbell setup. So I have a three barbell setup here. So I can fit three bars up here. I wanted to leave a little bit of room just in case I want to pick up a couple more barbells. So who the home gym is for, in my opinion, is someone who is really busy with their day, which I'm sure we all can relate to, but I found that with young kids being at home and being a husband, that taking a lot of extra time to drive to the gym and drive home from the gym or try to do any of my extra stretching or mobility work, I was spending a lot of time at the gym and including travel time and everything. You know, it ended up being sometimes like three hours a day. So really the idea of having the home garage gym was so that I could have more time with my family and to be home and be around people that I love and want to spend time with. And that way I didn't have to worry about all the other stuff, the travel time, uh, getting in and out, uh, fighting over equipment, or not fighting, but you know, uh, dealing with sharing other equipment with other people. It also allowed me to, to build a program that really fits into my lifestyle and the equipment that I have here. So it's caused me to adapt a lot of things in my training. And so I think that the person who's got a really busy schedule, maybe doesn't have a lot of time to commute to and from the gym, um, has a little bit of space in their house or in their garage, and maybe also has a family or a partner that they want to be able to spend more time with. I find that I get to spend time with my wife and my kids now in the gym too, where that always used to be time that I had to spend away from them. So I really, really think that this has uh, been a huge time saver in my life. So anyone who's looking to save time in their life, but still be able to stay on top of their fitness, the home garage gym is exactly for you. So moving on to the other pieces, uh, we've got kettlebells up here. So I've got kettlebells all the way up to 72 pounds. Dumbbells, on this part portion of the weight rack, I have 35s, 50s, 80s, and 100s. I attached a uh, vertical dumbbell storage that I found on Amazon to the side of this rig, which I also got on Amazon. I attach it so I could add my 20s, 10s, and 5s. So that again, space is such a premium. I couldn't find in the exact footprint that I needed, I couldn't find a dumbbell, kettlebell, slash plate storage rack in the right size. Rogue does make one, but it's wider than I could fit in here. So I kind of had to just look to see what I could find. I got this big uh, piece here from Titan Fitness. Uh, so that's actually the kettlebell storage, the dumbbell rack, and then the plate storage. And it's a really great piece of equipment. Um, very happy with it. Again, it was the footprint that I needed. And I also was able to kind of do some customizations with it as well. Um, so that I could kind of make it fit exactly what I needed. But simple, I just made a couple simple modifications where I drilled through so I could attach a couple other pieces to it. Um, and so that, that was really easy to do. As far as weight uh, plates go, uh, I got uh, bumper plates, competition bumper plates from Rogue. And I really love these because they're meant to bang around. So these are meant for, uh, for gyms where you're gonna be dropping the weights a lot and they don't have the metal insert in here um, so that you can drop these weights and you don't have to worry about the weighted piece um, you know, breaking out 
The rest of the stuff here on, on this rig setup, this is a, um, a wall ball hanger from Rogue. Um, but I use it as like a catch-all storage. So obviously I, I store my wall ball up there from Dynamax. Uh, I keep my ab mat up here, my boxing gloves. This is a new piece of equipment I just got in. So the iron neck. Heard a lot about that on um, a couple podcasts that I've been listening to. I felt like it, I kept getting targeted for it and they got me. They got me, man. So now I'm using the iron neck. Use it a couple times a week, but it's actually really helping with, oddly enough, I feel like it's helping with my, I sleep. Sorry, I forgot to show you this. The landmine post. So rogue landmine post, which is great. So you put the barbell on here and on the end of that, you can either do your rows or you can do uh, push presses with it, single arm push presses, but I can attach this piece to it and do really heavy rows with it. Kind of like the row machine at the gym. Tricep pull down piece back here, uh, as well as a, another lat pull down piece that I can use. These actually attach to, but I, I forgot to mention this on my rig, they actually attach to this Spud Ink cable pulley system that I have. So it's by Spud Ink. And what's cool is the way this, the way this setup works, you load the weight plates on here. So you take this piece off and you load your plates in this. And then, so your weight plates will be on that. And then you can either use the straps or you can attach any other hand attachments. So your lap pull down or anything you would do normal cable rows on, even cable flies, etc. You can attach to this and then you can pull the weight. So this will be your weighted here. So it almost gives you an effect. It gives you like a weight stack, a cable machine to use off of your rig. And again, it's by Spud Inc. And they make some really good equipment. Um, Spud Inc. does a lot of stuff in the powerlifting and strongman world. Uh, so I, I, they, they don't mess around with their with their gear and these things are double, triple, quadruple stitched, like very, very heavy duty pieces. And I absolutely love this. It also allows you to get that cable work in. You just don't really totally get all the time with free weights. All right, cool. a couple of last pieces over here in this corner is I got my rope sandbag. Uh, I use this for over the shoulder stuff. I have this weighted right now at like 35 pounds like just under 40, that's 35 to 40 pounds. You would have seen that featured in my 911 Hero workout video if you check that out already. If not, you should go watch it. Also under here is my, the, the sack of doom, of destruction. This is um, another piece from Rogue, but it's a heavy sandbag. Uh, used a lot for strongman stuff. Um, I have it filled up to just about 150 pounds right now, and you can change the weight in it. It's got a really cool uh, piece inside. It allows you to put your, whatever medium you're using, if you're using sand or gravel or some kind of mix of the two, uh, it keeps it all really nice and stowed and secured in here. It has an internal uh, compartment that stores all the rest of that that you lock up. So it folds over itself a bunch of times and you fill it with whatever you need to. And that way when you're dropping this thing and throwing it around, you can be sure that it's not going anywhere, which is awesome. So if you've noticed, a lot of the pieces of equipment in my gym are from Rogue. And the reason why I choose a lot of the Rogue stuff, number one, I, do, I did do a lot of CrossFit over the last few years. So I got very familiar with the brand of Rogue but it's not just because of CrossFit. It's really, be, it's really kind of because of CrossFit or using them in CrossFit. I got to see them get beat up on every single day for years. And I never was listening to the gym owner at the time complain about the pieces of equipment falling apart. So I got like firsthand experience with what it'd be like to have pieces of equipment in my, that I would eventually use in my home in more of a commercial gym setup where hundreds of people are using them throughout the day and things would just take so much punishment and stay together. So when I was building my home gym, I felt like there were a lot of the pieces of equipment that I didn't want to skimp on at all and make sure I was getting the top quality stuff. There's lots of great brands out there, but I certainly know from experience uh, that Rogue puts together really, really good pieces of equipment. And no, Rogue is not sponsoring this video. So this is just my opinion and they don't pay me to say so.
All right, so the last uh, last couple pieces of equipment uh, are my Concept 2 rower. So I do get a lot of work in on the rower. Um, it's a great way to do some cardiovascular training that doesn't require you to go out and hit a long run. So that's certainly something that I work into my uh, programming where I can. Uh, newest pickup is the 150 pound heavy bag. Um, it's the, the Thai style bag, so it's a little longer, so it hangs almost to the ground. Um, I hang that off of my shrimp trawler off the rig now and get some bag work in. So I do love to mix it up and get a little boxing, uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai stuff in and get those in as a workout. Some days you just kind of feel like punching and kicking stuff. So uh, I come out here and, and get on the bag. So that's been an awesome, awesome addition here. And uh, my son really loves it because he can come out here and, and punch on the bag and stuff. So he, he feels like he's being real tough and cool. So uh, last couple pieces in the garage gym. Uh, road bike storage. I ride usually about once a week with some really good friends of mine. Shout out to Don Juan Peloton. Check him out on Instagram. So here's a road pegboard. Um, this thing's a killer. This is like a secret, secret weapon to crush your soul is this thing right here. You really think you're fit, then put a pegboard in and start climbing on that thing every day. The funny story about this, first piece of equipment I bought for this home gym five years ago, I just installed it for the first time uh, last year during COVID. So when I redesigned the gym or, or did the, the art project on the walls in the gym, this crazy uh, pattern that I put on the wall here, I finally hung it up. So first piece of equipment, it was pretty cheap. It's like a hundred and something bucks, hundred bucks and I never hung it up. So I finally had to hang it up. There she is, super glad it's in. So the last piece of the garage gym, it was never complete until I lined her up with all my Black Rifle coffee. So as I mentioned, I was gonna be signing up for an eight week challenge by one of my favorite fitness YouTube channels. So here we go. For the next eight weeks, I'm gonna be doing the Go One More Daily Challenge by Nick Bear Fitness. So what's cool about this is that all his workouts are gonna be posted every day for eight weeks, his running workouts and his weightlifting workouts. So this is definitely an area that I've been trying to focus on and it's really the uh, map of my training program anyway is combining running and weightlifting. So endurance training with weightlifting training um, or bodybuilding style workouts. So I'm really excited to do this program. I'm gonna be doing a weekly vlog over the next eight weeks about my progress and moving through this challenge. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, the before and afters and see if I get a little fitter. All right, so there you have it, the home garage gym setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions about specific pieces of equipment in my setup here, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.